guys, I'm back with another video. This video, I'm gonna show you how to make the Starboy Ken Carson type beat. Let's get into it. First thing I did is I started with this lead. It's something that like I never do, but this one is just like hella vibey. So you guys might have heard that I actually added shaper box to it. I added this little break it down preset and that just like juiced it up and changed it into something that like could actually be played throughout the whole song. So yeah, just add like effects and it'll be sounding super dope. Then I added this little pad right here. So yeah, something like super nostalgic and stuff. So this is like the lead that plays throughout the hook and it's pretty simple. It's just the three notes going down. I added this little note right here so it sounds dope when it loops back. So yeah, super 8-bit, super fire. I also added this little re-space right here. Then I added this little pluck melody for like a little bit of the verse. And then my final melody is like for the bridge. Yeah, super 8-bit sounding, really repetitive, but still fire. And yeah, those are all the parts of the melody, so it can be a lot. You know, there are six tracks, but you know, I switch them in and out. So yeah, let's get into the drums. So with the hi-hats, I went really, really simple. I just like added some rolls and I removed some hi-hats for some extra bounce. At the end right here, I like to remove the hi-hats so it sounds super cool when it drops in. And I pitched this up an octave, so like basically the trick is if you pitch an up an octave, it'll make it sound like more bouncy and stuff compared to like if you pitch it down. So yeah, here, I'll let you listen. Then I got like the classic clap pattern, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Zaytoven. Then I got this open hat. Then I added this little rim right here. And then I added like the classic snare. And yeah, that's all the parts I use for the percussion. So let's get into the 808s. So this is my first of two 808s. This one was like pretty bouncy. It's like a Z808, but it's just like juiced up. But yeah, I just created like a pretty simple pattern, something really catchy. And yeah, I'll let you hear it. The effects I added on this 808 is I boosted up the EQ, made a square pattern, and then put on cut self. And then this is my second 808, and you may know this from like a certain song, but yeah, I basically just copy the pattern and just switch the 808. For this 808, I also just boosted the EQ, added this little box pattern, and put on cut self. And then for my mixing, I added a soft clipper onto this 808. For that beefier 808, I added a soft clipper too, but I also added this little EQ just to like boost up the mids a little bit. For the bass, the pluck, and the lead that goes into the bridge, I added this EQ. For that first lead, I added this EQ, and obviously that's the one with shaper box on it. And then for like the lead that's in the hook, I added this EQ. And then I just added a soft clipper onto the master. And as you can see, I boosted the volumes like all the way for the the other ones because they were like hella quiet and i also changed the volumes right here but after that i just arranged it you know created like a hook a little verse and then like a little bridge and the hook again because these type of beats are pretty like chorus heavy and then i just added a little outro and that was the whole beat so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video or at least inspired or learned something please make sure to leave a like and sub i drop videos every day and with that being said here's the full beat and see ya